this is the journey we are engaged in at the moment. As has been said by Professor Kendiki, Kenya Kwanza has uh, grown over time. Many members have joined. Uh, many political parties have joined. Today, uh, UDM has joined the Kenya Kwanza fraternity. And like all the other members that have joined before you, you will become an equal member of this alliance like all the others. Um, you will participate with us in parliament, in governance, in the executive, and in every other aspect as we seek to consolidate our country, our development, and our progress. I want to assure you, members of UTM, that Kenya Kwanza is large enough to accommodate all of us. Our plan and our agenda is broad enough to accommodate all the ideas that will come from all the constituent parties and all the other leaders that form uh, Kenya Kwanza. Karibuni sana on behalf of uh, the other leaders of uh, Kenya Kwanza. Uh, you're most welcome into this coalition. And as I told you, this is the coalition of the willing and the free. Uh, we have had occasion, many members who came to join us from the other side say they were never given an opportunity to read the contents of the agreement. They were never given an opportunity to interrogate whatever agreement they were being told to sign. And that is why, to date, there is only one agreement that is public, and that is the Kenya Kwanzaa Agreement. <laughs> the other agreement for our competitors, nobody knows what it says, how it looks, and it is an insult to the people of Kenya to ask anybody in the 21st century to abide by an agreement they have never read, they have never seen, and they have never participated in formulating. I don't even know how our competitors manage to keep people in Azimio. They, they, they <laughs> You know, and let me say uh, for the record that because we believe in a free, in a society that people make choices without looking back, I want to confirm that what happened the last four years where politics was criminalized, relationships were criminalized, association was criminalized. I want to promise Kenya that that is a chapter that is closed. <laughs> Going into the future, this country shall continue to be the democratic nation that many Kenyans fought for. Association, relationships, friendships will be free and nobody, no government institution will be used by anybody to criminalize friendships or associations or political uh, um, uh, affiliations. We want to have a country where people are free Ideas are free, relationships are free, association is earned, it's not coerced. I know the last four years and many of the people who were forced into joining our competitors were threatened and blackmailed and intimidated using the criminal justice system. I promise the people of Kenya 
that the criminal justice system will exit from politics. The criminal justice system will deal with criminals. They will not deal with politicians. We will never use the to leverage political friendship of political support or political traction. We will ensure that the criminal justice system, the DCI, the ESCC, the KRA, and all other institutions execute their mandate devoid of politics. I say so because I know many people who have suffered because of their political affiliations. So I want, I want to tell even our competitors that they will have no fear. I know maybe because our competitors have used the criminal justice system to harass other people. Maybe they think we will do the same. I want to promise the country we will not do it because it is primitive and it is backward. We want to live in a society that is free. We want political support to be earned. We want um, friendship to be built. And we want a society that Kenyans are free. I promise the people of Kenya this country is going to be free. That's why I'm saying our national security intelligence will focus on criminals and focus on terrorists and focus on those who want to harm our country, not on politicians and who they want to speak to and which association they want to belong to or which political party they want to belong to or do, who they want to associate with. We as politicians will do our thing. We will talk to each other. We will canvass each other. We will persuade whoever we can, and we will ensure that Kenya is free. I want to tell those who uh, don't agree with us, you have nothing to fear whatsoever. You have nothing to fear. You can disagree with us and go home and be free and walk around the way you want. Um, as I said the other day, we will all go back to our normal phones. Nobody will tap your phones to criminalize your relationship or your friendship or your political association. Let me also say as we go into the future that we have a daunting responsibility. Many people are wondering why we are consolidating our place 